Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, intermediate algorithm scripting, binary agents. All right. So now we're going to return an English translated sentence of the past binary string. All right. And the binary string will be space separated, just like this right here. All right. So binary is a little bit uh, intimidating, but l let me tell you, this is nothing, honestly, because uh, we, we don't we're always going to use programs to translate this stuff. We're, I mean, you don't need to be like computer head and be able to say, oh, yeah, this is a capital A, of course, just by looking at it. That's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, how much time are you going to spend doing that? You know, no way. So what we're going to do first is we're going to split this string into an array where each one of these is in its own uh, element, right? So we'll do something like this. We'll say let split string equal and then we'll say str dot map and not map dot split and then we'll do the split it by the spaces like that right so let's do a console dot log and inside here we'll get split string and drop it off all right and we can see right here it works just like we wanted it to so now after that, we're going to do a map function, pardon me, a map method on each one of these and change them into English characters, right? So we're going to say let binary to English, English equal uh, split string dot map. And we're going to do the elements and then we'll have the arrow. And for this, we're going to say, uh, we're going to parse int, all right? So we don't usually use parse int, but the parse int function parses a string argument and returns an integer of the specified radix. Before we get into that, what's parse? Parse in computing uh, means we're going to analyze a string or text, and, pardon me, into logical syntactic components, uh, typically in order to test conformability to a logical grammar. That being said, it really just means we're just going to change it from one thing to another uh, based on what they equal in different uh, number systems, right? So basically right here, what we're going to do is say parseint string radix, all right? And the radix uh, right here would be like base 10. Uh, for us, we're going to be using base 2. We could also do base 16, and we can go all the way up to base 32, all right? So we're going to say parse int, parse int. It's just like uh, math.min and math.max. It's just a function. And we're going to have uh, the element go in there first, and we're going to say change it from 2, and then it's going to change it from 2 to base 10, all right? Uh, so now it's going to change this to, like, whatever the character code for uh, A is, right? And parse int this. Okay, yeah, so now that we've done that, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna also uh, inside this map function, because let's let's look what binary to English looks like right now. So right now it looks like a bunch of numbers, right? So while we're at it, let's wrap up this parse int like this, put it in parentheses, and in front of that, we're gonna do the uh, string dot from char code. So we'll say string dot from char code like we learned in the in the earlier ones and now we can see aren't bonfires fun just like it says right here all right so now that we've got that going on uh we're going to join them all together so let's say let uh join string equal binary to english dot join and we'll join it instead of by the spaces we'll just join it by an empty string all right so let's grab this Drop it off in here, and we can see, aren't bonfires fun? All right. So that looks good. So now we can just uh, return the join string. Let's come down here and say return join string. All right. And let's wrap this thing up in parentheses right here, the function call, and say in front of that, console.log. Just in case we got something wrong, we didn't. It still looks like that. Let's run the test. Looks good. And submit it. All right. 
Now we're on to Everything Be True, and we'll see you next time.